How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video and everybody's been wanting to see this cooker cook and uh, I actually been wanting to make some breakfast on the cooker. So I uh, got my son down here, Brandon, and I'm going to cook him his first steak over uh, an open fire, over wood. He's never tasted it before and I'll tell you, I think he's going to be really surprised. So we got our coffee going right now and the little hook is working out great for the coffee. Uh, when it's done percolating, we can move it right off to the side and just keep it warm over the fire. It's going to work out great. Uh, we got everything cleaned up. And this thing's been burning for a long time. It's been burning for hours uh, to try to get the paint smell out of it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get to cooking our food. Come on along. All right, we got our cast iron skillet greased up. And we're going to do some uh, eggs and... Uh, we're going to do some morel mushrooms with some onions and ramps, and that sounds good. So I'm going to let that skillet heat up there for a little bit, melt that butter down, and then we're going to get to cooking. Now, I've never tried to get a cup of coffee out of this thing yet, but I found out that this tool here actually hooks into the bottom of that pretty good, and I can pour me a cup of coffee. Whoa, let's turn a little bit. Oh, that worked out pretty good. That thing, I'm sure, is pretty hot. So we're just going to leave it off to the side here and let it uh, just stay warm for us. All right, our uh, butter is getting pretty warm, and here's what we're going to we got some rail rush mushrooms, some onions. We're just going to sprinkle these guys right down in here. We're going to let them cook up. Oh, they're sounding good already. Now we want them to cook a little bit slow. And what's nice about the rack being able to turn, if we're getting too hot, we can move them off to the side a little bit. Or if we want them to get hotter, we can move them right over into the middle of the fire. It's cool. Let's put those four little ramps in there just to give it a little bit of flavor. You know what I mean? just to leave a little ramp flavor. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of pepper. We gotta do some pepper over these guys. Uh, Cause we're gonna cook our eggs right in with this. When these are done cooking, we're gonna stir our eggs right in with them. So I'm gonna do some sea salt on them. I'm a, uh, I like the sea salt and the sea salt is really good on the, uh, the ramps. When you're cooking them in butter, they're really tasty. So we're just gonna let them cook down a little bit and then we're gonna get our eggs in there. Cause I don't think it's gonna take long over that those hot coals for that steak, that's for sure. Boy, that's looking good, Brandon. Just gonna let them cook down a little bit longer. Do you think I need more wood in there? I don't think so. It's pretty hot, isn't it? I don't think so. I mean, it's cooking food, man. It's it's doing an awesome job cooking so far. I love it. That's that's really looking nice. Wow, look at them. Man, that looks good. Oh, can't wait to eat. My mouth's actually watering, Brandon. All right, I'm going to let Brandon put the steaks on the grill. And uh, these are New York strip steaks. We're going to do a couple New York strips for breakfast. That sounds good. And we're just going to let them cook up there a little bit. And then uh, we'll get our eggs cooking as soon as these guys get close to being done. Okay, Brandon's getting our steaks looking pretty good there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the eggs in here and we're just gonna pour the eggs right over top of all this and then we're just gonna scramble them up. We're gonna just mix all these up in here. We're gonna let them cook. We want them to cook a little bit slow. 
I'm going to do a little bit more cracked pepper on them right over the top of these eggs. Just a little bit. And just a pinch of salt. Just a little pinch because we did a decent amount on the other. I think that looks pretty good. Mmm, look at them steaks. That's gonna be a good breakfast there. Gonna turn this a little bit. Look at them cooking up. Mmm. And I am using uh, welding gloves to hold the skillet, but I think I know a way I can make my hole or my tool that I raise and lower the the racks and turn them and all that. I think I can make one to move this skillet around and pick the lid off of a cast iron skillet. And uh, Brandon's actually been using forging tongs to flip our uh, steaks over, so. Okay, our last steak here. Uh, I think me and Brandon's ready to sit down here and eat. Uh, I really do think this thing has worked out pretty good. Uh, this is going to be Brandon's first steak, so I'm kind of curious what he thinks about it cooking, the, you know, over the open fire. Okay, the time we've been waiting for is to try these steaks, and I'm, I got to try the mushrooms and the green peppers. Oh, I'll stay for the steak. Oh. The mushrooms, green peppers, we got some ramps in there, we got mushrooms in there, we got onions, and the eggs is unreal. Let's see what the steak has got for us in store. What do you think, Bran? Hey, yeah. is it, can you taste the smoke? Yeah, super good. That's what I love about that open fire, to be able to taste that smoke and... A lot of times we would add liquid smoke to some of our meat to get that smoky flavor but when you're cooking over this thing you don't need that liquid smoke that's for sure you got plenty of it on here you want some did you try the mushrooms no yeah i've been eating this oh you gotta try your mushrooms <laughs> dude taste taste you know how i eat i know oh, but you gotta try it i mean i you gotta no, try i'm it. going that, to that's good stuff man this guy, Brandon likes to eat one thing at a time. He'll eat steak, or he'll eat his potatoes, or he'll eat his corn, and then he'll eat whatever else is in line. That's how I always eat. I don't know why. Me, I like to mix my food up. But, you know, you got to taste it while it's hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, dude, all there is is salt and pepper on there. Mm, that looks really good. I mean, that's an egg right there. You know what I mean? That's something that, uh, that's really good. Super good. I mean, not a lot of people are going to taste eggs and ramps and onions and mm. morel mushrooms cooked over an open fire. That's nothing on there but salt and pepper. That was really good. And the ramps. you got to add that sea salt to ramps to make them good. Mm. 
Our eggs are really good. Mm. We're gonna pick some more mushrooms, or you never have those for a while. Well, we're gonna finish eating our food here, our breakfast. Um, I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. And oh yeah. I'll leave some type of a link in uh, the description down below for Amazon so you guys can uh, check out, uh, you know, if you want to buy some stuff from, off of Amazon, I do appreciate you guys uh, hitting up my Amazon links down there. You don't have to buy what's in the link. Just whatever you purchase. I Some of the purchases, I get a small commission off of it. And I do appreciate it, and it doesn't cost you guys any more. So, hey, thanks. Till next time.